क्लिक द बेल आइकन टू गेट लेटेस्ट वीडियोज फ्रॉम इकीडा हेलो फ्रेंड्स इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट अ न्यू टॉपिक दैट इज ऑपरेशनल एम्पलीफायर एंड ट्रिपल फाइव टाइमर नाउ ऑपरेशनल एम्पलीफायर इफ यू हैव हर्ड दिस वर्ल्ड और नॉट द वर्ड इज एक्सप्लेनेटरी दैट इज ऑपरेशनल एम्पलीफायर दैट मीन्स इट इज गोइंग टू एम्पलीफाई यूर सिग्नल एज वेल एज इट इज गोइंग टू परफॉर्म सम काइंड ऑफ ऑपरेशन सो द नेम इज गिवन एज अ ऑपरेशनल एम्पलीफायर एंड टाइमर टाइमर वी यूज इन अ मेनी प्लेसेस दैट वी आर गोइंग टू see in the next video so let's start with the opam and timers so first of all i'm going to introduce you what are the operational amplifiers are now in previously when we do not have the operational amplifier we we are using some device to amplify the signal or to boost up the signal now when signal travel from one place to another place for suppose if i have a source name it as a b and if i have a destination is equal to b now if if i want to send some analog signal or you can say some digital signal through some kind of medium and the distance between a and b is a very long distance now for a long distance communication when signal travels from one place to another place there are many parameters come in between the source and destination that may degrade the quality of the signal correct so in between this source and destination you should have a some device that device will boost the strength of the signal so that your signal can be able to travel the further distance for example if my communication system in such a way that in between if i have a point c so till a to c my signal will travel with a very good strength and it will be recovered as it was forwarded but after c due to the increase in a distance if my signal will lose some strength and it will lose the strength in such a way that at b i won't be recovered i won't be able to extract the information which will be contained in a signal which is to be sent from a now in this case what need to happen is at the place of c the strength of the signal should be boosted now to boost up the signal i need to have some device and which is known as a amplifier that means it will amplify the signal in such a way that your signal will be capable of traveling the remaining distance so that is the requirement of a amplifier so previously as a amplifier the device was used can be a bjt if you know the bjt bjt can be used as an amplifier ft can be used as an amplifier now when it comes to the amplification your amplification should be a multi stage if you are using a single stage for example if bjt i am using as an amplifier then my bjt will be i will be having a collector terminal the resistance rc which is connected to the base i have the base resistance which is a grounded then i have a emitter resistance which is grounded and here i will take the output v0 now in this case my signal will get amplified but if i am having the more number of stage that means this v0 is connected to one more bjt like this the vcc will be given and so on that means i am actually i am increasing the stages as more number of stages that the amplification factor will increase if am amplification factor will increase that means you will be get the signal which will be highly amplified and which will be the strong signal that will capable of uh, traveling the large distance now if you are going on increasing the discrete component so basically when it goes for a bjt or even though if you go for a ft you need to have some capacitor so bypass capacitors you required sometimes sometimes you required the coupling capacitors which can be connected over here or connected over here and then you will have to have a bypass resistor so these are the all capacitor resistors transistor these are the discrete components so if you want to increase the amplification factor your discrete component will increase as your discrete component will increase the size of the circuit will increase and due to the increase in a size your device will become bulky so this was the disadvantage now to overcome disadvantage the integrated circuit concept has integrated integrated 
circuit where integrated circuits are the concept is nothing but where all the components which are required are integrated on a single chip and the chip size is very very less which is a very very micrometer nanometer of the size that means size is reduced and this integrated chip is nothing but the many component which are required for example this particular diagram if you see that is a multi stage amplifier can be integrated over a small chip and that chip is called as a integrated circuit or we called it as a ic so the first ic as a operational amplifier was designed was mu a741 so this is the first operational amplifier which introduced can be used as an integrated circuit where the whole amplification stages are integrated on a single chip so this operational amplifier is a capable of performing operations like addition subtraction differentiation multiplication and so many and obviously amplification these are the some mathematical operation that can be performed by using the mu a741 or you can say ic741 so here onwards in this whole module we are going to see the different application of a operational amplifier known as a ic741 after ic741 many operational amplifier were designed but this is the mostly used amplifier where so in the upcoming videos we are first of all going to see what is ic741 how this operational amplifier symbol look like what are the pin configuration what are the characteristics ideal characteristics practical characteristics and how the different kinds of operation which can be performed by using this single small device that we are going to see in upcoming videos so before that i hope you understood what is the difference between amplification process we used to have in a previous years and what are the amplification process we are using nowadays so that is the possible because of the new operational amplifier which is designed and the name is ic741 so thank you for watching this video stay tuned to ekida do subscribe ekida thank you so much